Basic Open LDAP to eDirectory User and Group Resolution. This tutorial is a basic introduction to configuring the Open LDAP client to resolve users and groups located in eDirectory. The software versions used are SUSE Enterprise Linux 12, SP2, and eDirectory 903. This tutorial assumes an existing configuration consisting of a single server eDirectory tree and NSS LDAP RPM already installed. The first four steps we will perform will be to prepare eDirectory with the information necessary to resolve users and groups by NSS LDAP. eDirectory schema must contain POSIX object classes and attributes so users and groups will have the attributes necessary for resolution. NDS SCH can be used to modify schema. NDS stat will return the tree name. Here it is demo tree. If config a will show the IP address bound on the server where eDirectory is running. The schema utility NDS SCH is located in slash op novel eDirectory bin. Now we will run NDS SCH dash H, the IP address where eDirectory is listening. Dash T, the tree name, the admin account with rights to modify schema, and the schema file to be used opt novel eDirectory lib64 nds schema rfc 2307 user group dot sch. Next, extend the users and groups to include the needed object classes and attributes. This can be done using iManager. Log in to iManager with the admin account. For our tutorial, we will create a test user and a test group. Create a user object called Linux user in the users.myorg container. Create a group object called Linux group in the myorg container. Use the schema role and task object extension to extend the group we created by adding POSIX group. In the POSIX group screen, add a GID number. For our example, we will use 1000. Use the schema role and task object extension to extend a user by adding POSIX account. In the corresponding POSIX account screen, add UID number of 1000 for this example, home directory, and the GID number will be the primary group which will correspond with the group Linux group we just created. Common name and unique ID can be left default. Add the Linux user to the Linux group.
NSS LDAP needs rights to access the objects and attributes that will be resolved. Use iManager to create a user with the necessary trustee rights. Create a user object called LDAP admin in the users.myorg container with the password LDAP PWD. Use the rights role and task to modify trustees to create a trustee high enough in the tree to include all our users and groups. For this tutorial, we will use the tree root demo tree. Select Add Trustee and browse to the LDAP admin user. Click the Assigned Rights link next to LDAP Admin User. Check the Currently Assigned Rights and click Remove Selected. Click Add Property and choose Entry Rights. Ensure Browse and Inherited are checked. Click Add Property again and show all property rights in Schema. Choose CN and ensure Compare, Read, and Inherited are checked. Repeat the process for Description, O, OU, Object Class, DC, Geckos, GID Number, Home Directory, Login Shell, Member UID, UID Number, and Unique ID.
select Done, select Apply to save the changes, then OK. In this tutorial, NSS LDAP will be performing a simple bind. Use iManager to modify the LDAP group to allow simple binds. Use the LDAP role and task to select LDAP group object and uncheck Require TLS for simple binds with password. Then choose Apply. To make sure eDirectory is configured correctly, test the configuration using the simple LDAP search command. In a terminal window on the SLES server, type LDAP search dash h, the IP address of the eDirectory server, dash p389, the port LDAP will be listening on, dash d, the LDAP admin account we created in LDAP format. Dash W, LDAP PWD, the password we assigned to the LDAP admin. Dash X, dash B, and the base DN, which is OU equals users, comma O equals my org, and the filter. CN equals Linux user. This will return the Linux user and the POSIX attributes we added to the Linux user. Now prepare the SLES server to connect to eDirectory LDAP. The etcnsswitch.conf file directs the name resolution to specific services modifying the nsswitch.conf to include LDAP for both password and group. Use VI to modify the etc nsswitch.conf file, comment out the existing password and group options, and add a new option containing files and LDAP. Modify the etc ldap.com file used to configure NSS LDAP with the settings according to the eDirectory configuration. Make a copy of the existing etc ldap.com file. Use VI to modify the etc ldap.com file. Comment out the original host option and add host with the IP address for eDirectory. Comment out the original base and add base with O equals my org. Add bind dn with cn equals admin ldap admin ou equals users o equals my org. Add bind pwd with ldap pwd. Add port 389. Comment out SSL start TLS. Start NSCD, which is the name service cache daemon. Type RC NSCD space start. Check the configuration by testing user resolution. The ID command is used to resolve a user. It is helpful to run the ID command while generating an NDS trace log for eDirectory 
To capture the whole LDAP connection in NDS Trace, use LDAP Config to set LDAP Screen Level to All. Run NDS Trace in a separate terminal window on the SLES server. Clear all current tags and set LDAP tag. Run ID Linux user from a terminal window on the SLES server. The Linux user should re be returned. In the NDS trace screen, the search command performed by NSS LDAP will be displayed. The SLES server is now configured to use NSS LDAP to resolve users and groups in eDirectory that have been extended with POSIX attributes and exist under the MyOrg structure. Thank you.